Imagine being appointed as an ambassador of a kingdom, entrusted with a message so urgent, so transformative, that lives depend on it. This is the call God extends to every believer to represent Christ to a world in need. As ambassadors for Christ, we are not only carriers of his message, but reflections of his character, stepping into the brokenness of others with the healing power of God's love. 2 Corinthians 5.20 reminds us of this sacred commission. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. The question before us is, how well are we fulfilling this divine duty? Character of Christ's ambassadors. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. 2 Corinthians 5.20 Every true Christian will feel that he has something to do for the salvation of souls. When you approach the stranger, when you stand face to face with the impenitent, the afflicted, the soul needy, the Lord is by your side if you have indeed given yourself to him. He makes the impression on the heart, but you may be the instrument for his gracious work. The advocates of truth must hide in Jesus. He is their greatness, their power and efficiency. They must love souls as he loved them, be obedient as he was, be courteous, full of sympathy. They should war with all their power against the least defective character in themselves. They must represent Jesus. In every act, let him appear. He who can read the hearts of men knows the atmosphere surrounding every soul. He knows how many and fierce are the struggles of the human soul to overcome the natural hereditary tendencies and the sins which have become common through habit of repetition. Thousands are exposed to Satan's masterly temptations and are without a knowledge of God and Jesus Christ, whom he has sent into the world to save the chiefest sinners. Oh, why do we not discern our part of the work in the great plan of redemption? In every truly converted soul, there will be genuine, sanctified sympathy with the suffering of Christ, endured by him to save the sinful. They will, if collaborers with Christ, overcome selfish ease, selfish gratification, selfish indulgence, and will grow in spiritual sinew and muscle by exercising the powers given them of God to win souls to Jesus Christ. This heaven-appointed work is calculated to give breadth and depth and stability to Christian experience and character, and to bring the laborers together with God into a higher, purer atmosphere where their love for Christ will be ever increasing and their love for their fellow men will abound more and more. As Christ's ambassadors, we are called to a holy and solemn work, to be his hands, his voice, his heart in this world. This means more than words, it demands a life that reflects his love, humility, and compassion. The souls we encounter, the broken and the lost, are waiting for someone to stand in the gap, to show them the path of reconciliation with God. Let us remember that our strength lies in hiding ourselves in Jesus, that his character might shine through us. Today, how will you allow him to make his appeal through your life? The world is waiting.